Welcome to Two Balls and a Mic, episode 110. 110. We are here another week of Two Balls and a Mic, hot and heavy action. The People's Podcast here in San Diego. San Diego Loyal had to get themselves a kit reveal party. Kit reveals are here. We have both home and away. We're going to get our thoughts along with Alan Underwood and our expectations for the season. There might also be a discount code coming down to get yourself some discounted tickets through two balls and a mic. Yes, Alan, that is correct. We're also going to go ahead and just touch on a little bit of the wave and some of their uniforms and the challenge cup coming up. San Diego Soccer's keep a good run of form beating Chihuahua 6-2. We were there at that game. We're also going to go ahead and talk about the incident that happened over in our homeland, the home country. Querétaro versus Atlas. Not good. The nightmare La Liga MX experience Champions League and Premier League as well so without further ado I think uh, it's time to um, talk about the event that we had on uh, last Thursday last Thursday uh, kit reveal uh, everyone seasons. everyone everyone missed Alan Underwood there, man. it was not the same without you without you man what I mean I hope, it, say? hope, it, hope it was worth it is all I'll say uh, uh, I mean, it was union work, so it's like, okay. Not that's, that's, that's not as exciting Lord's as work. a kit reveal at Stone Brewing. It's the Lord's work uh, that you're doing. But uh, yeah, the meeting ended at six, and I was like, mm, probably not going to make it. So I was furiously refreshing my feed uh, to see everyone's reactions and check out the uh, that video drop was pretty nice. I watched that three or four times, so. Uh, that was very nice. So I got to like live vicariously through social media. Yeah. So I mean, it was back uh, to the future was interesting. No, it, it was it was <laughs> it was rather interesting just because like they had the DeLorean and and uh, Kit from Night Night Rider there. So mm-hmm. without yeah no they, yeah no you miss Kit bro without the Hoff without the Hoff. Uh, That's okay because the voice of Kit is the principal from Boy Meets World, and so. I'm oh, all about that too. There you go. Um, <laughs> but um, Kit uh, Night Rider in Spanish was pretty cool too. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, definitely they had those two cars. It was out of context, so it was it was a cool event. We got there and we uh, later than I usually. Okay, like, okay, wait, relax. Later so than I would. I I with. actually go to work and and get off early and. I, I got to change. I get ready. And Tony gets a text like, oh, where's Tony at? And we're on our way there. And he starts blaming me for being late. Yeah. Alan, we weren't even late. We were literally on time. Yeah, I made a mistake the first kit reveal. I showed up like when I was supposed to show up. And it was like, all right, we're going to stand around for a couple hours. That's what we did. Cool. But we knew people this time. Oh, are you complaining? Yeah. Are you complaining because we got there? No, I'm complaining because we, we were talking. No, no, not you, Alan. This guy, this this clown over oh, here. Clown. Because um, <laughs> 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 um, we got there, it, you know, we started seeing people, you know, coming up to us, getting our uh, our, our new uh, two balls and a mic uh, business cards. Did you give the jerseys to anyone? Yes, we we, we gave away the jerseys. Nice. So it was it was a. <laughs> No wonder I'm not. I had three different people ask me as well. Business cards. I don't know. If, here you go, Alan. Those are thank you, thank you. Those are very nice. They look a little bit like uh, like iPod, like uh, the shuffle. Not shuffle, we but they have that like metallic now. blue. They look really nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it looks nice. I thought we were about to have to get new business cards. <laughs> new business cards yet again. <laughs> um, are they metallic? Because if they're not metallic, they're not metallic. I'm sorry, oh. we're not. Uh, we're not. I'm back. You know, we're not I, the, I we're not San Diego's too. best podcast with a, a whole social club. Uh, I asked you, metallic or, or your metallic. brewery? Um, <laughs> anyway, um, definitely a cool event. A lot of people, so you can definitely tell like who's from where, because there was people in 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 all San Diego uh, where, which is like mm-hmm. very casual, loyal, local stuff, like very fan you know, loafers and, and you know just Crocs and stuff. And then you have the chattily Mexico people, like, to dress to the nines because it's it's a red carpet impress. event. Like everybody is like, to, you know, to the T. That's how it is for Mexican culture, though, man. Yeah. You you dress to impress. You go. You're going to the supermarket. Oh, you better you better dress up nice. Mm-hmm. You better put on some jeans and a nice polo. You're going to the supermarket. People are going to see you. Wear your good boots. Yeah, yeah. So that that's how Mexican culture is, man. You, it's it's what they call no te quieres ir fodongo. You know what fodongo means. 
No. It's oh, it's what like sloppy? No, not sloppy. Don't be a slob. Slob, slobby, slob. slobby. Ew. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so the kit uh, reveal came along. Uh, we decided to honor the first time where we met Alan Underwood A, Underwood Forty Eight, um, in that same spot in first front row. Uh, before that, we talked with the Chavos. Oh, before that, even. So as soon as we get there, right, the players come out of Stone Brewery, and so they all come out and they're just. In, in the patio they're just standing like they're all incredibly healthy and lack body fat so they're not <laughs> warm so they all huddle together like meerkats under the under the uh heaters i feel for them i was cold too yeah it was it was pretty cold and so nobody was like approaching them and everybody's like oh, the players they're like 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 zoo animals like oh my god they're here don't spook them <laughs> like oh my god you know we went up to the uh, was talk with uh, austin a little bit talk with uh the Jacks, Metcalf, and um, Blake about Liverpool and Chelsea and and, and uh, all the happenings of, of, of all that. Uh, so I got a, a, another taste of that. Um, Austin was 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 I was out and about, and so we let Kyle Vassell know that we have a, a surprise for him. We have a surprise for Kyle. He has you, to. Score. You didn't bring that to like. You should. No, I I I don't want to tell him yet. Like okay. if he if he Fair. scores in the first game, like he's gonna get in the first game. But you know, if he if he doesn't yes, like yes, it, yes. It, it'll then I'll show it to him. Like, hey, this is this is what you're gonna win <laughs> if you actually you know start scoring. Oh, stop pulling yikes. the stop pulling the Ben Spencer hey, oh. here. Um, oh. You could win. <laughs> the grand a brand prize. new belt. A, and apparently, Charlie Adams is the biggest wrestling oh, fan too. Yeah. And he just he's just he's just you know he's just very to the to the uh, to the vest with that, close to the yeah. chest with that one. And so I'm gonna have to break him a little bit. Uh, in any case, also thank you to Paul, uh, who got us these oh, yeah. two balls and a mic uh, shirts uh, printed. Uh, you know, he gave me one. He gave Chiva one. Uh, I didn't know it had my name on it. Did you did, notice? No, it? yeah, it, yeah, it has yeah, my name it has your name on it. Um, Very cool. Appreciate. I think those. Product. I think those were the highlight of the evening. Actually, yeah, no, the, kid, the, the, the kids were like Ooh, whatever. That's right. That's yeah, right. Loyal showed the kids. Uh, season ticket holders, I guess, got like fifty percent off or something. Which I am heartbroken that I didn't get. Like, oh Ooh. my god, yeah, that was crazy. They so. they got that coupon. I think they could use it in one item, mm-hmm. including a jersey. So including a jersey. Uh, we have a, a, a chat and. Oh, yeah. Lu- Luft one says, what do you guys rate the home jersey out of 10? And the away one, and what jersey do you like the best? Let's look at the kits first. Yeah, no, 100%. Them, let's, let's take a look at that. Let's, um, let's, Alan, we got to experience it in person. We got to see it firsthand. Like you were at home. What were, you, what were your original thoughts on this kit? Um, I was pretty impressed with the green one. Uh, I was a little bit unimpressed with the gray one, but, uh, Craig, shout out to Craig Elston. He posted a picture of his without like all the fancy lights and the weird angles. He just like laid it flat and took like a nice clear picture. Uh, and I actually really like that grayish white kit as well. Can I be excited about Elijah Martin being the guy who's driving around? Like, yeah, yeah, like, no, hundred percent. Like, I saw a, that. I was like, perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, it, 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 it like again, it kind of confused me the fact that there was a DeLorean there, but it all kind of made some sense. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still kind of like, all right, DeLorean, Back to the Future for the future, I guess, type of thing. Uh, I li- I like the shots of San Diego. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be controversial. I'm kind of over Barrio Logan in like promo of the shots and videos. Like, I think I could say that because you know I don't think Alan could say that. But like I, <laughs> I'm I'm not that I'm over them using Barrio Logan. It's a really cool cultural center that represents you know people but, that look like me. But yeah. like, there's other parts of South Bay, National City, National it's, City, you know, like some you parts know, of National City. Um, it, I don't know. Yeah, nitpicky, but I mean, very nitpicky. Yeah. Guys, the mile of cars just does not look as good in background photos as Barrio Logan does. I'd have to disagree. In, in Chicano Park. I'd have to disagree. You, the mile of cars, the mile of cars <laughs> down the five for in and out. I mean, you know, there's 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 the yeah. double mile of cars there. Um, but no, I mean, it's it's literally like the people who are saying com- You're getting an in and out right here. Complaining. There's going to be a second in and out National City. Um, oh, wow complaining about the jerseys of like oh i'm the south bay isn't represented like guys my people 
Barely. You're represented. I will say I am not represented because I live so south to the border. It literally cuts off. And even look, I looked in the inseam of it. My house is not on it, which is fine. I don't care. It's whatever. Like, it's fine. National city's in it. Everything, everybody's good. But literally because I live like five blocks too close to the border, on either side, I'm blocked off. So it's fine. It works out. Up, You can see the up north part. Yeah, you can see up north. You can see everything. My only complaint about this jersey, and this is a legitimate complaint As someone that, that, I, that, bought I, it, so. that I had, is they told us that we were going to have that chattily thing on the back on the on the on the back collar neck part that would be exclusively chattily uh and have the colors of the american flag not saying i'm not i'm not complaining about not having an american flag on my jersey but mexico every single flag is the mexican tricolor the, the green white and red was and so ended? we were told i was told at least that that's a, something that they were going to be like they're so proud of that they're going to be the old first one to do that none of these jerseys have them Neither of them have it, like... Interesting. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like, right here in the back. Oh. Yeah. I see. Yeah, so there should be... If you look on the Chatterley website, every other Chatterley jersey has um, the Chatterley name and then the little flag underneath. That's I like flags. Only, I'm a little... That's the only complaint you have of it? I'm not a fan of the material. Oh, the material. Ooh, what is it, like, too heavy? Not breathable. What? the The good thing about it is that this is what the j- players wear. That's cool. I like that. Okay. As far as like saying, I think it's a little <laughs> different. Like what the players wear has to. No, be. it has to. Be. It's not. I've I've looked it up. Uh, it's, it's, it's 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 the same. I've heard it. It's a little. But even different. then, the Adidas jerseys that we got, they're silky. I am a fan of silkiness. Mm. I like silkiness. Okay. On my body when I am, you know, needing to be aerodynamic and stuff. This is more. When, when is that? Like, like the the term jersey applies to this jersey. All right. It's fine. I love it. I love it. It, it doesn't feels mean like I, a football I don't material love jersey, it. huh? This is yeah. Like this is an investment, and I and I like that I invested in it. But if I'm honest here, I think it's a seven point five. The away one. Wow. In general. Let's like talk about the, the, the uniforms. So the lines are the, what was it? The topography. The topography, topography San Diego, yeah. Which which is cool. I like the design. I get it. I, uh, I wanna, I'm not a fan of the big orange stripes. I do want to defend my 7.5 saying that it's a Dave Portnoy okay. pizza uh, scale where anything in the sevens is good. It's, yeah. it's really good. Oh, yeah. Eight is something that you're want to go to travel to. Nine is like it's gonna be life changing. There's like no such thing as a wait, perfect ten. You willing to wait like two hours? Yeah. Nine. There's no such thing as a perfect ten because what if something else comes in after and is better than that ten? Like they're they're not both ten. So like it's like figure skating. Um. So that's my take. Seven point five. Ah, it's good. The home it's good. one, man. Like uh, the design is great. Uh, the dies. The design's a nine point whatever. Like the designs yeah. themselves are fantastic. I'm the just overall jersey. Yeah, the utilitarian part of me is like, eh. like I would I wear this as a goalkeeper jersey during a game? I don't know. I like the goalkeeper, the Adidas goalkeeper jerseys better. Uh, we gotta see. Uh, Chatterley sponsor us. Don't not let's not lose <laughs> the sponsorship here. Chatterley, I'm fantastic. No, but I heard I I, I read I read mixed feelings about it on Twitter. Like uh-huh. it's, it's valid. I mean, people, you're not always gonna love everything that loyal puts out, right? Yeah. Like uh, that, that, that would just honestly be kissing ass a little bit. Uh, you gotta, you gotta call them out where it's at. If you don't like the jersey, you call them out. You say, "I, I personally didn't like the jersey. I did like it. I give a seven, seven point five as well." Uh, like you said, the material to me it feels a little heavy. I do like the silk as well. The attention to detail of the jersey is like great. whatever material Adidas uses. I love it. Yeah. Like, could we have this design with the Adidas material? That would have been like a, a nine for me. Hey. I also caught that the badge itself has some like texture or some type of um, what's the word I'm looking for. It's like three dimensional. Yes. It's got some texture to it, which I liked. Um, and I would give it like, I would give the green kit like uh, an 8.2. Okay. On, Very and then uh, the white kit, like a 7.9. Cause the, the thing that's crazy, like you're getting a really nice kit and it's $30 cheaper 
than what a lot of people are selling the Adidas like not replica kits. Yeah. Like I, I right before the show, I looked up like Phoenix just dropped theirs. There's 110 bucks. Oof. So it's like if it's like if it's an Adidas kit, it's a little bit lower because but I can get it for 80 bucks instead of 110. Like I'm all for that. Like save me 30 bucks. Alan, you want yeah, it's something? not like as cheap as a replica, but I think you're getting pretty good quality kit. A really nice design. I was, I liked San Diego Oil's first couple kits, uh, but it was clear like the keeper kit was the one to get, and everyone else was like, every other kit was like, this is fun. It's nice. It's team one. You want it because it's the first year. But like, if they came out with like a plain white kit again and like a plain orange kit again, it's like, womp womp. But I think if this was year one kit, this would have been like, I think people would have. Like heads exploded if this was year one's yeah. kit. Yeah. Um, but because it's like year three, it's maybe not as special. Um, I do like the car that like bumps into the ball right here. That's a <laughs> nice touch. <laughs> I giggled every time I saw it. Uh, but I think they look nice. Um, I think they're gonna look great on the pitch. Um, you know, stone's still on there, rocket league's on the front. Uh, I think those are really nice kits, and it's like grayish white, it's not like a white, it's kind of like that grayish color, which I appreciate. Uh, so it's not just like a Real Madrid ripoff, Los Blancos, uh, just plain white kit. Yeah, I gotta agree. I mean, it, they're they're really nice kits. Don't don't get me wrong. They're really really they're probably the best USL kits or top yeah. three USL kits. Yeah, no, like they knock it out of the park with when it comes to the design of the actual jersey. Like yeah. any complaints that I have is really nitpicking. One because like the the material doesn't give that much give. Also, mm-hmm. and and that's fine. You know, that's an indictment on me. If anything, uh, during the uh, kit reveal party, we actually talked with uh, K- Kobe Jones, who was there. I guess oh, he's yeah. a representative of uh, Charlie now. Because uh, they're coming out with some cleats. Yeah, and apparently for, those cle- he's, ke- he's cleats he's, are going to be game changing prototypes that yeah. he's doing. Um, <clears throat> we also met with uh, Psionics, um co co head co co dude of, on top oh, uh, Rocket League. Rocket League. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, there may or may not be a confirmation of uh, San Diego Loyal stuff on in-game. Uh, so if you know anything about Rocket League, like the customization is pretty cool. So there will be some uh, San Diego Loyal uh, incoming more than likely. Um, we also uh, talked with uh, Andrew Vasiliadis, just kind of congratulated him, let, tell, told him, hey, you know, congrats on a good event and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm, I'm in Technically, in contract talks with San Diego Loyal oh, for a one-day contract. Oh, the people need to hear about uh, this, Alan. So, so let me. Can I tell this? Let me Go tell this. It. We're speaking with with uh, with Andrew Basiliadis, right? We're just having a nice conversation. Tony is very eager to sign a one-day contract with San Diego Loyal, right? Like he doesn't even want to play, practice anything. He just wants to say that he's a he's been a professional soccer player. Somehow, Andrew Basiliadis told Tony, "You could be skinnier, Tony." Ouch. Like he called you fat. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. That's not. It's kidding. That's he didn't not call paint. Him fat. What are you doing? But he said you could be skinnier. He did say that. And Tony said, "Okay, if I lose the weight, can I have that one day contract?" And they were very, very interested in that. I spoke with Ricardo Campos, president. Uh, told him this, and he says he's down. So it might be a season end, season beginning to season end type thing. Um, I don't know. Tony I asked mean, for a number, and and the answer was tech, it's a it's a healthy lifestyle. Like numbers shouldn't matter, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> no, definitely. So I mean, that's something silly. Uh, I told everyone, down. guys, you guys don't understand. We get skinny Tony, and it's over for all of us. You're fired. Like it's over. All of you are fired. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. I'm fired. Like, <laughs> I'm fired. He would quit the podcast <laughs> and just start modeling. It'd be like two sticks in a mic at that point. Like, oh. Right? Like, you know. We would have to change the name. Something. Something. Uh, or start talking about hockey. I think that's the other option. <laughs> the San Diego goals uh, <laughs> over at Pachanga Arena. Get your $2 Bud Lights. Uh, at the end of the day, whatever the kits look like, you, I've been very blunt about this. I've told Andrew this. Yeah. I don't care what the kits look like as long as the team plays good. We could be wearing, like, raggedy uniforms but if the team's in first place and playing great that's what i care about so 
you want your team to look like D- District Nine PB hockey? Dude, we could have the, the old. We could have the old uh, Las Vegas Lights uniform design. Oh wow! And if we were in first place undefeated, I'd be one thousand percent happy. The question would be whose face is on the underside for San Diego? Because you know it was like a car dealer guy, right? Like who? Yeah. Who would you put? If Las <laughs> Vegas. If we wore Las Vegas Lights kits, whose face is underneath? Oh man. I mean, I I know he's he's no longer with us, but somehow still has new commercials coming out. Uh, King Stallman bail bonds, uh, you know, the king would be a uh, would be pretty cool. You know, they say it's uh, better to know him and not need him than to need him and not know him. Remember when we prank called that car dealership? We actually called that guy because uh, it's Finley Toyota in in Las Vegas, who's who's the guy that has his face plastered everywhere. We we wanted some we wanted some answers as far as uh you know why they decided to. Uh, sponsor a dishonest uh, 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 team that you know takes advantage of poor refereeing calls here and there. So, no answer. But you know we're we're on the tr- we're on their trail. But <laughs> speaking about uh, performance, the first match day is coming up, uh, March twelfth against uh, Los Dos uh, over at Torero Stadium. I think at seven. Get your tickets. Also, there may be starting tomorrow i'm working on it a discount code similar to calafino's uh two twenty percent off uh two balls 20 for calafino get your calafino tequila um but there might be a chance that we have discount codes for actual tickets to San Diego loyal game so uh we're working on that might drop tomorrow so get your tickets through that It'd be pretty pretty cool to, for for you guys to save some money um, especially with uh, some of these other soccer prices around town uh, Ooh, for yikes. tickets. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, but, Alan, uh, USL Maestro, Maestro, what uh, what are your thoughts leading into this this uh, first match day against uh, LA Galaxy Los Dos? Have you paid any attention to them? Like, I mean, it, it's kind of hard with uh, the lack of information for USL uh, sometimes, but what have you been hearing? Yeah, um, I mean, they brought back their striker, Preston Judd. Uh, they have some pretty good players uh, hanging around. Uh, they signed Liam Doyle and Michael Salazar to kind of replace uh, Jorge Hernandez, who was like the guy for Los Dos last year uh, in the midfield. Uh, you really don't know with Los Dos sometimes because it is like some academy kids, but these are like MLS academy kids. You've got some guys who kind of do some two-way work. Uh, as well, like bench guys for MLS coming back down to low stos. So it it kind of is a little bit of who you're going to get that week. Is the big club playing? Is the big club off? Uh, do they want to send some guys down to get minutes? Uh, like kind of rehabbing. Um, it, it's, it's hard to predict early on which kind of low stos you're getting. I mean, this is a team uh, that has made the playoffs uh, two years ago. Um, has made it has had a deep run into the USL Cup uh, in previous years, um, but it's it's gonna be they're definitely gonna be a lower end team. Uh, I think they're kind of in kind of the lower tier, but that doesn't mean that you can take them lightly. Um, anytime you play kids like we saw us against Cholos, anytime you play kids, it is a little bit unpredictable, and they're playing for minutes, right? They're, their goal is to do well enough on Los Dos to get a call-up to uh, the big club or to parlay it into a, a contract like some of the guys did um, uh, moving to, like, an Orange County, for example. Um, I think they're going to be a, a tough opening day matchup because you're not quite sure what you're going to get from the team, so it's hard to prep, right? You play like a Phoenix, you kind of know what they're going to do and how they're going to accomplish it. You play Orange County, you kind of know what they're going to do and how they're going to accomplish it. With Los Dos, it's how to, hard to scout players that are on academy teams. So um, I think over the, the course of the season, I think Los Dos is going to be a team kind of toward the bottom. Uh, San Diego played them really well last last year. I think um, toward the end of the season, I think it was like a 4-0, 4-1 Um I think three one a two nil like San Diego was was beating them pretty handily. Yeah, uh, so that's what Tacoma I, I, was supposed to be last year, yeah, right? And Man. but it, I mean, the first year San Diego plays pretty well against Tacoma, and then last year they don't. It's it's one of those things like you never know. They might have your number, but I, I feel pretty good that San Diego could could defend well enough to keep you know a guy like Preston Judd 
I think he had 17 goals um, last season. Um, so a, a pretty good striker, um, but losing uh, Hernandez um, with his passing and his uh, expected assists in the midfield is going to be a big loss for them. I'm going to go for this game with Tony's uh, prediction. Uh, when they played Cholos and they played the youngsters, they played great. The first team played really, really good. And they dominated and they scored uh, a good amount of goals. I think it'll be a repeat against Los Dos. I think Loyal's gonna have Los Dos numbers. Uh, I, I, I think, I think Loyal's gonna have a dominant win. Maybe four one. Maybe four nothing. Yeah, um, it, it, it can be right. So you know, it can get out of hand depending on how well you know this San Diego Loyal team is is, is essentially like. It's not so much necessarily how well uh, is Galaxy going to play. Galaxy is going to play how they're going to play. But if the pro players perform like we've seen them, you know, kind of perform, seeing we've been able to see them train a little bit, you know, it should pay, it paints for a, a good season uh, and a good home opener. Hopefully, they're stronger. They have more experience that worked in the first half and first 60, 60 70 minutes against uh, the Cholos Academy uh, kids. So, again, we were talking about a very similar play style in the fact that they're fast, techy, like that's kind of what they go for. Um, but if you can have just Kyle Vassell up at, up top or uh, Thomas Saman, uh, you know, just knocking some, you know, putting so some strength in there. Does Loyal repeat starting lineup from preseason games? I think so. I mean, I think I think so. From I, th I want to make sure. I think I heard that they repeated that same um, same formation uh, and uh, lineup against LA Force and SDSU. From 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 sources, un, un my sources say <laughs> sources. Um, but yeah, so I think it, I think it's it's safe to say that that's going to be the starting lineup. I mean. It'd be hard pressed to say, "Hey, throw in Thomas Amon, who hasn't had first team reps in the stadium for the opener, uh, unless something happens with with Kyle and uh, so, or some sort of injury." Um, does Coca start? Coca starts, right? Like I, I think yes. that's that's you know he has to even in the even in the promo the promo pictures like he's the one that's in the middle in front next to Anthony, flanked by Siaha and and Guerrero, like. It is what it is. You can't play two goalkeepers uh, at once. Uh, hopefully, uh, everybody's able to showcase what they have uh, this season uh, coming up in some sort of way. Um, but what are you looking forward to? Uh, who are you looking forward to see out there uh, in this in this first game? Like, who do we do we have a sense of who scores? Do we have a striker that scores? Like, what are what are the things that we're looking for? I mean, I would like to see Kyle Vassell open up his account with San Diego on opening night. Um, we, he was really close the last time we got a chance to see him. I think getting that goal right off the bat uh, is going to kind of settle him down a little bit and realize that he's going to do uh, pretty well in the league. Um, you know, I think possession is going to be a huge thing, especially offensive possession. So um, I'm also looking forward to seeing, uh, how well Nick Moon and Tumi Moshabani really break guys down one on one. Um, I, I think those two guys are going to have pretty important roles as well to to bring the ball forward. Um, I mean, Guido is going to be Guido, uh, and then I think the other thing on the back end is how well the two center backs and the new goalkeeper work together. I mean, Yaro is a huge loss for the team, um, and I don't think expecting someone to perform as well as he did right out the bat is going to be fair, right? Even Yarrow had a, you know, a rough game out of the, uh, out of the block. Um, and he kind of found his way into the team over the course of the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, Adams and Stoneman look really nice. We'll see how that looks when games are actually competitive and matter. Um, but yeah, I think that kind of front three front four, if you will, um, is going to be a really fun one to watch to see if they can't make something click this early, this early in the season. Yeah. Last thing we want is another start like last season, right? Oh, and four. Yeah. Oh, that four. Be, that'd be the worst oh, thing uh, again, but I don't, I don't think that's going to happen here. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if, you know, they tie, you know, it's the first game of the season, you know, like the, the, the LA galaxy can, 
can have a, a, a good a good form uh, coming into their fresh, fresh legs. Mm-hmm. When fresh legs are fresh, like, they, they're fresh. Like they're, oh, no shit. <laughs> if, if you score more than the other team, you will win the game. Um, but, no, uh, definitely. Fresh legs is more fresh, guys. So fresh is so clean. clean. Fresh, fresh is so fresh clean. can be. Um, um, I do think Orange County recently played L.A. Um, for their last preseason match. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, According to Orange County, 3-0 against Los Angeles. Not sure who really started for Los Dos um, in that one or if it was like L.A. I think it was against uh, like an L.A. L.A., but you're not, not sure how many of the guys from Los Dos played versus kind of trialists versus it's hard to tell. Orange County didn't put anything from LA and then Los Angeles two's last tweet was like, here's the schedule for the year. Yay. It's like, yeah. I was trying to look something up and that that's pretty much as, as much as you're going to get. Uh, we did also in that uh, kit and veil party. And I think we, we finished really talking about it, but we uh, ran into Nico Boxel too. Who's like just chewing at, you know, just a chance to try to get onto the, on, on, onto, onto the field. Like, there's still players that are incoming. There's still players that are rumored, but, uh, you know, basically confirmed via Snapchat. Uh, <laughs> um, got, I guess I got my, my haircut stolen by a uh, potential signee uh, along with Anthony Siaha. Um, who took my my spot for a haircut. Ooh. Anyway, um, but again, um, there, was a, uh, there was a lot of, excitement the players are ready to go like the players are 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 primed they're they're they've been working hard over this preseason and i think it's it's gonna be a good showing here uh at torero torero front office staff for loyal are excited yeah everybody's excited uh score predictions 4-1 so 4-1 maybe 4-0 i'm gonna go 3-1 3-1 okay and I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a two one like I like it's conservative only one, because one, the, two, the one. kids one of us play. is gonna get yeah, it right. no, one of us is gonna get it right as we get a clean sheet yeah ho- ho- which is hopefully hopefully it would, so be great, yeah. uh, it would be good to start uh, with a with a win this season um, and then yeah it's a 32 game season along with Open Cup uh, coming up on April sixth uh, at to that Canyon game? Crest are you gonna go to that game Alan? I have already purchased my ticket. Oh, oh! Do we have to purchase tickets? Huh? You think we'll get media passes? Huh? I, I didn't trust. Um, oh, my lights just turned on. Um, I didn't trust getting a hold of ASC San Diego in time to get media credentialed. I'm gonna try to get credentialed, but yeah. I also, I mean, it's the same thing we do with loyal matches. You know, I'll buy the ticket. I'll get the media credential. Yeah. I mean. I think it's like 35. You better get those credentials. See. We'll talk about it. Two <laughs> balls discount too. Um, but no, so that's going to be right. exciting, exciting season coming up. And uh, I'm glad finally, you know, the next time we see each other, Alan, we're going to have a game to talk about. We might have some highlights, some actual legitimate highlights. And, oh, and, yes. And, you know, the club can't hide anything. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and have tomorrow, not Thursday, even though I thought it was Thursday, that would have been bad. Uh, assistant coach Nate Miller with his first check-in, um, the Miller minute, Miller uh, time. I don't know what we're calling it. Miller time. I like that. <laughs> Miller minute, the quickest interview ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do we talk about Bruno? Uh, definitely. Uh, so, uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, so if you have any questions for Nate Miller, literally days away from the season starting, um, let us know. Like, tactics questions. Guys. Tactics. No, yeah. No, 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 I'm not going to give me, Oh, who did you like the kids? Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask him that. We don't have the time for that. I want to know about the game. Yeah, we only have a minute, guys. We can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we got it. We got to hurry. Um. So yeah. So that's gonna be. Uh, and I'm thinking up. Bruno's gonna take like 30 seconds. So shit. Um. Anything else, Alan? Loyal. Uh. Anything on your mind? No, it's just it's it. I don't think it's quite hit me that we're, there's a game Saturday yet. Mm, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it's real. We've had a couple weeks off. Uh, but I think, you know, Thursday, Friday, it's going to feel really nice and it's something to look forward to. And uh, I get to say hi to all the people I missed at the kit reveal. Um, so I'm excited. Are you going to be drumming? 
Oh. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. They but again, the varsity like, drummer. I'm not here to like step on anyone's toes. Like people want to drum, let's let them drum. Like it's all about creating that environment and, and getting a lot of people involved into the community. And if that's one way in that we can get people to hit something, make noise, like let's get them to hit something, make a noise. I love that about Alan. Well, now you have something, a machine to do vlogs now too. So you're going to be seeing some, some of uh Chiva style vlogs this time. And uh, that'll be, that'll be fun and interesting. Um, Cool. Um, but yeah, Alan, we have to yell at our own people. Oh, yes, we do. Yeah. So, yeah. I probably should dip out if that's what you guys are talking about because I don't feel like I have a voice in that in that conversation. Uh, uh, yeah. But I look forward to hearing your guys' takes and, uh, you. you know, have a wonderful evening, gentlemen, and we will see you guys uh, in a couple days. Appreciate you, and uh, we will see, see you there, man. Thank you. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Alan's the best. Oh yeah, he really is. Oh man, dude, how do we even get started with this? All right, so do we go directly into it? Because I mean, we all can. Right, all right, oh let's, wait, wait, wait. let's let's, let's there, okay. Is there more wave? Well, we have wave to talk about. <sighs> then. Okay, so real quick, challenge real cup. quick, okay. challenge cup. So challenge cup is happening. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I just want to address the ticket prices. Some people are yeah, very people are upset. Mad. People are mad. I think the cheapest one, thanks, thanks to Paul, the, who who made this shirt for us. Thank you, Paul. Uh, it's that the cheapest after taxes and all that. It was forty two dollars. I mean, ah, like <sighs> you, you're paying to see some of the best. Jeez. Women's soccer? You really just took my take. Um, <laughs> I did. I still No, your it's take. fine. No, but, I mean, like, it's, it's fine. Like, look. You're paying to see World Cup winners. You're paying to see the best in the world. I'm not here to justify the fact that poor Jason or somebody is going to have to pay over a hundred and some dollars to if take they want to bring small family. family. Yeah, like, that's wild. Um, that like, is true. It's, it's crazy how expensive stuff gets, honestly. And, and, you know, when you have other products such as San Diego Loyal playing literally in the same stadium. Like, I could see, like, like, if you're in Snapdragon, miles. like, yeah, I mean, sure, it's a state-of-the-art, uh, you know, state-of-the-art facility, state-of-the-art thing. preseason tournament? Um, it's a little wild. So, um, preseason that's right, tickets preseason should be cheaper than actual Uh-oh. season tickets. Uh-oh. How much are those tickets going to be? Uh-oh. Um... That is wild. They are man. banking. Uh, I really hope we get media passes for that because. What the matter? See, like um, I'm just saying, man. And then uh, again, uh, that's going to be coming up. Uh, the uniforms that they're wearing for that one, I guess, are going to be the training kits. Yeah, I'll reveal they, yet. Uh, I know people were kind of roasting them about being very similar to an old uh, U.S. Women's National Team mm-hmm. uniform. So, I mean. <laughs> We'll see. I mean, I, some people are very concerned that they're not doing enough for the city and for the community. And some, uh, someone on Twitter, tweeted, Twitter, Twitter, called them the La Jolla waves. Ouch. So I mean, that's literally where the that, press reveal was and stuff. Like, yeah, you know, like, it is what it is. I um, haven't seen any wave things down here in South Bay. So prove it. Prove. Prove. Prove, prove it to them us. wrong. Sell prove us. them Come wrong. Come on, wave. Um, sell, sell us. San Diego Soccer is also uh, interesting. Sixty-two beating Chihuahua. Uh, oh man, what a, that was fun! That man. was a fun game. We went over. We as, got media credentials, but we went more as fans. We, we went as media credentials to explore the intricacies and the experience of a fan that a fan would have. Yeah. Uh, for for the for the sake of this program, let me tell you, um, man, this game was it. It delivered. It had everything that uh, our friend from the soccer's. Craig and uh, Craig and Jerry, Jerry, Jeremias, or tell us, man, this game was hyped up and it lived to its potential. Uh, no, it was a really interesting game. Uh, for the first half, for the first quarter, we were like in the media section. We got some nachos and, and kicked back. Uh, Sports Arena, very, very disappointing in the Pechanga nacho arena. Uh, the, the Pechanga Sports Arena. Uh, yeah, the very disappointing in the nachos department. Um, but I mean, it was a it was a really good view. Like you were talking Sour about, there's not a bad. Fine. <laughs> um, we got we got to kick it with the Brujos. The Brujos over at uh, section 18. section eighteen, eighteen, nineteen. Um, 
essentially oh, another man. division we were talking of so much Mac to the goalkeeper. Yeah, no, it was fun. It, yeah, it, it it was fun. Uh, everything credentials were uh, hidden for that. Uh, but it was fun. It was a fun experience. It was a really good time. Get out there. They're doing a... Uh, I think they have two more home games. two more home games. They have the March 31st, I believe. Are you going game. to that? It's, it's, it's Maybe. like a petty it's, Yeah, Padres. no, when, when the Padres decide that they're not having a season. Um, not an opening night or something like that. Not an opening game. night, exactly. Like um, wild. That's hilarious, man. Again, if, if you're a big fan of baseball and, I mean, sadly, you don't get to watch your favorite sport now, uh, hop over to soccer, man. We have soccer. We have the Loyal. We have San Diego Wave. San Diego Wave. La Jolla Wave. U- San Diego UPSL, Wave. San Diego Internacional. Ah, We're going to be doing the work with UPSL. So. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going to be happening here in San Diego um, around town. Uh, again, thank you, Craig. Check check them out in person. It's 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 a really yeah, fun game. It's, like, it's honestly worth it. It's it's fantastic. I think those games are going to be five dollars general admission. Yeah, the five dollars oh. general admission. I think it's like for nine bucks. That's five dollars. Uh, the game and two beers. Oh, where two are you going to get? Lights. Where are you going to get something like that? Such a good deal like that. That's wild. you're not going to get a deal. You got like that, to that game, in San Diego, the most expensive city in California, or whatever yeah. we are at this point in the country, probably. Um, but yeah, so. Oh, we got to got a yell at people, Tony. Womp, 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 womp. So, what the fuck? So, man. it ended up happening that this was the actual um the cheapest tickets is average price for 104 for a section in San Diego. Yeah, it's actually kind of depressing. Um for the tickets. Yeah. Um but this was the weekend that I actually was. I I, I actually was gonna watch a couple of Liga MX games. Oh, fuck. I'm not lying. Like I was like out of. Like, all I, I've been weekends. telling like, you, you gotta watch more. Yeah, and no, more no. And I was gonna watch, and then and then like happened. I was gonna watch the Chivas game because I was like, oh, what time? I thought it was at five or something. Seven. Damn, it it right, still cool. played it, but it didn't honestly, feel the same. I didn't watch it because because it didn't feel the same. It just like, I, I watched couldn't. it. I they won, but I I couldn't celebrate the goal. It was just. Man, it was rough. So I think, I think by now people already know. No, oh no, no already know. everybody already know what happened. So in Querétaro, uh, let's uh, Querétaro in La Corregidora, the stadium where Ronaldinho has played, uh, and the team where Ronaldinho played, yeah. uh, Querétaro uh, hosting the current champions of uh, of Mexico soccer. Atlas. Uh, so. Something that, again, this is not going to bode well. Please, Chadley, don't listen to this one. Oh, but, like, look, Marcas, like, Chadley, are, and, and everybody's in Gatorade or everywhere, like, this is not good for anybody involved in this because it doesn't what's have, going on is, it is, is wild. Hopefully. I don't think it affects Charlie or Gatorade. No, I mean, it's just, I mean, sure, but you, you don't want to see any anything of this nature, you know, happen in yeah. general. Um so like I, I heard about this like oh you know what I'm like okay cool I think you sent it to me did you send it yeah, to me? I I I told you did you see what happened about Querétaro yeah and, and then Querétaro I looked Atlas. it up yeah and, and, and you're like oh kind of like I don't really know. and I told you bro like probably the biggest brawl the hit in the history of soccer and and at least Mexican I, for soccer. sure Mexican soccer in the I think top three in the history of um, soccer in the world and so you know it ended up being. So the, like the supporter section, and see they they say like ultras and this and this. It's the supporter section. Es, es la barra. Es la barra. La like, barra de Querétaro. Y, y, the like you, the masacre is the supporter section of Cholos Quincles. Like all oh, the ultras, that it's 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 all one. Yeah. Uh, what you would equivocate that over here. Um. So essentially, they've been having some beef. Yeah. So they had some beef, and so you have more insight because mm-hmm. your brother is in the masacre, and so he's actually yeah, part like of the of of, we, of this. And so he was, he was saying, he was home this week, and so I was talking to him about it, and he let me know. Yeah, dude, like from what it is about Barras in Mexico, is Atlas, Barra, Querétaro, and Pumas are the usually the ones that are like the most that behave this way. They like to fight a lot. Las, las más desmadrosas, yeah. if you say. Uh, he told me that Querétaro and Atlas La Barra, they've had they've been beefing for the last couple of seasons. I didn't know, but I found out through social media that the Querétaro supporters group told their director of sporting events or the director of sports or whatever it's mm-hmm. like a director in Querétaro, don't let the supporters section from Atlas come to this game because it's gonna be bad. Yeah. 
he got warned and they told him like don't don't let them come it's 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 going to go down he ignored that and he allowed them to go and not only like i i get it people that work for certain companies and sporting companies they can't they can't really express their thoughts on it because they have to report based on the facts and that's what the government tells yeah, you right so this is okay so like well it ended up being a huge brawl where yeah. Uh, it was reported on social media through the videos because, again, like, I unfortunately, like, I, I've I can stomach a lot of these type of things. Like, there's wow, a, there's a war sure. in in on social media over in Ukraine and yeah. and, and and Russia. Like, those are are, are so foreign, but like, I, these are people that I know that I right see them like. Um, like yeah, the, the, the shot the of the kid the, of like the family is like that's 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 the shot that's, that that yeah, is you know yeah. going around. It the, gets to you, right? It's, see, you about because like we've all been there. We go to this in the American version of this. Like, dude, you're a kid and you see this. Are you gonna want to go back to a game? No, it traumatizes soon? you, bro. Yeah, like, the, like it's the, wild. The um, and so you know, it, it, even here, like you know, just like. Taking in, in the context of everything, like the images of this, I would say, okay, like sure that if you told me this happened in, in a Liga MX uh, game, I'd be like, all right, I can see that happening, which is kind of yeah. normal, which is not good. I want to say normal, not normal, but, but like believable, believable. Like, but to the extent to what it got is bro, the part that's just like where, like, madre so way. so I uh, so speaking with my brother about barras and stuff. And what I've seen on social media again, there's there's uh, codes that supporters groups have. Mm -hmm. The three main codes, or one of the most important ones, is when someone is knocked unconscious on the ground, you don't hit them anymore. Yeah. When someone's on the ground, you don't hit them anymore. That's it. Because fighting is part of that culture, at least in Mexico and South America and stuff like that. Fighting is a big part of that culture. Like they they get into brawls with the other supporter group, and it happens mm -hmm. to the extent like this. Even they were shocked. So you don't hit anyone when they're unconscious. That wasn't the case here. Yeah. There's videos of people being stripped naked on the ground and, and hit, getting hit with chairs and belts. So that's one of them, right? Yeah. Second, you don't attack families. Yeah. Anyone that's with the family, you don't attack him. And that didn't happen here. They were attacking people with families. Yeah. There's a picture of a cameraman for Univision that got attacked as well. Oh, wow. Like, what does he have to do with any of this? Yeah. And number three, you don't kill anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that should be number one. That should but, be number you, you one. Know, but uh, yeah, it's, it's understandable. Part of it. yeah. So we can't confirm or not. We don't know the facts. But there were reported 17 deaths and then 20 and then up to 30 deaths. Mm -hmm. It sounds like the Mexican government is saying that there are no deaths. That's 20 something people injured. Yeah. Two or three in very critical condition. They better hope nobody dies, Tony. And if they're trying to cover it up and it comes back to be true. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be bad. So the implications of what can happen here, like there is so much that can happen. There's probably not a lot that's going to happen. And again, like it's we're, we're, we're talking from a position of like privilege in the sense that we can go watch a soccer game and, and somebody pointed out on Twitter like, oh, this would never happen in the U.S. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, like, yeah. like you were very strict on me happen. to not interact with that yeah, tweet. It's not, so. it's, it's, do it's not, not worth engage. it. It's not it's worth, not worth it. it. Um, like it would never happen in in, in here. Blah, blah, blah. Like it wouldn't. No. Sure, whatever. Like it it, it it can it can. And yeah. uh, but unfortunately, it's more likely to happen in in you know Latin American countries and Mexico and and yeah. and it has. Um, but to the extent to what to which this happened. Wow, Pedro um, Bermudez was on that. I didn't even, yeah, dude, that's like crazy. It, it's bad, man. Uh, uh, man, I, I think the boy Adrian uh, from the Chavos made a good tweet about it and it said, "It sucks that this might see the way people look at me, like when it, when I go to a game now." Yeah, here and, and, it and, and, the and it's way. a it's valid true. concern, dude. One hundred percent. Like they see, they see, they see Adrian. They see this big ass fool coming over, like. It, it, it it's the first thought that some people have, unfortunately. <sighs> it sucks. And and what you don't know is that this was a, a, a kind oh, hearted, nicest, a kind hearted the fool. Nicest like he's a person good fool, ever. but you he's know, a great fool. It's a great fool, bro. Um, but it, it, some of the things that came out is 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 
that there wasn't enough security for this to happen. There wasn't enough this. Man. My man with a Dodger hat in Querétaro. It's um, it's wild that there's videos of security opening gates. So a lot of them, uh, some of the police officers in security, some of them already got fired because it was yeah. already proven that this was premeditated. Like, this was planned out. Like, they knew they talked to those uh, security or they were friends with people in Querétaro supporters group. And it was planned where they were going to open the gate. Like, dude, so there's interviews and... People from Atlas, they weren't even allowed to take their wallets, keys, mm -hmm. anything. They couldn't bring anything in. And there's people that had like uh, ice, like pica yellow, ice pickers? Is ice picks, yeah. Ice picks. Uh, like people had belts. There's someone that had a knife was cutting part of the net. And you could see the, like he handed the knife yeah. to the girl again. Like, like I man. mean, there should never be barbed wire in a stadium to hold people from each other. Yeah, right? Like you should be able to yeah. watch a game. Should be able to to do should be able. Unfortunately, that's not reality of it. The passion gets to people. They they express it in in a different way, and you know that's how they live and and enjoy the game itself. But like, this is so far beyond anything that has to do with on the game. Like, I'm very like per, I'm a person that like likes tradition and like 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 I don't even step on like I think about this even at at the at, at the games. I I'm not allowed to step onto the field the lines because it's a sacred place where soccer happens right now okay. i'm not a player like i don't deserve and it's rare i'm not a player <laughs> yeah yet. um okay but, yet but you know like the things that happen the pictures that are coming out of of some of these speeding and stuff during the game it's not in halftime after the match during the game that happen on the field are just you know that's what saddens me the most like yeah. like the, the sport suffers and so There's no sanction. There's no solution. There's no anything that's gonna that's gonna justify or or, or even any of this out because like you know people died. Like and, there's and, no, and it's 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 crazy because it just happened to be Querétaro that did this. But there's people like this, supporters like this that don't even love the game. That they just like making this madre and trouble yeah. in every fan base. There's people like that for Chivas. There's people like that for America. There's people like that for Tigres, for Pumas, whatever you want to, whatever team. There's terrible people like that. Yeah. And and, and 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 it kills the fun of the game. It kills the joy. It kills the, the family environment that you want to have for the games. And Chematacuras. Like, it's it sucks, man. But it is what it is. Uh, like, get it, there's already talks where Querétaro is going to be, like, affiliated with the league. Like, they're planning on having a 17 It's finishing the tournament with 17 teams. Like, I think it's tomorrow that they're going to make an announcement. Yeah, big, so the owners engine. meeting. So. Uh -huh. And so, you know, thing, things are coming out. You have Edson Alvarez uh, with the jurors, the shirt, yeah. the uh, no violencia uh, shirt. Jared Borghetti has, has a really good point. So, uh, Jared Borghetti, Mexican national, uh, international player, He was up until Chicharito, the highest scoring player in Selección history. Uh, la culpa la tenemos, uh, tenemos todos porque no decidimos nada cuando pensamos que no somos los indicados. So he's pretty much play, pus, play, putting the blame on everybody as we uh, don't decide uh, when we should, that we're the indicated person to say something, yeah. to, that it's on us. Uh, no somos capaces de quitar un grito en el estadio cuando ya no los han pedido de todas formas. We're not even capable of being able to take out a chant. certain chant, um, <laughs> a certain chant of the goalkeeper, the chant. goalkeeper chant in even though uh, they've the asked stadium. it multiple they, times and they've in different forms. So, oh, um, vroom, vroom. I'm in my vroom, mom's car. Vroom. Vroom, vroom. Uh, but yeah, no, it's like it, they've already asked us, and it's taking a toll now on on the field. Uh, and and there's consequences. People still don't care. Hasta la risa nos da cuando lo hacemos. Like we even just take the piss out of the fact that they've asked us to stop. Like we'll do yeah. it just like in a stomach way. Um, you know, desde ahí estamos mal. Starting there, we're already in the wrong. And so, what what do you do? There's man. Let me point out to anyone saying, oh, they should be disqualified from the World Cup. Like, national Me the Mexican national team has nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a, tro a problem within the league. Uh, can FIFA take away the 2026 World Cup for Mexico? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm a, uh, uh, that's how, fine. How are you guaranteeing me, Mexico, 
that I am a person from that's going to go watch England, my nation, my home team. Uh, how are you guaranteeing my safety in your stadiums if you can't even protect your own people? And that, and that's the thing. Like right? they're not going to play in that stadium specifically, but again, yeah. like, how are you going to justify exactly. that? It's so, a few years off. Like again, four like, years off. I, I think they can give Mexico a chance at in the next two years. You. Mm-hmm. You prove that this won't happen again in whatever way. And then if not, okay, U.S., Canada, you guys get a couple more games. Five more games each. Seven more games U.S. They have the stadiums yeah. for it. Like, they, they could do that. What's going to end up probably happening is... You know, yeah, the thing is, you know how much... Like, if you were to ban Mexico from even playing they on the World Cup... so much money. You know how much money they would they lose? So much and money. And FIFA, you know, we know, we know FIFA's all about that. the money. Yeah, I mean, even the league themselves are like, well, each each team is in charge of uh, their own security, so it's not on the league, on the federation, the Mexican federation, to do anything about it. It's on the teams it's to on sanction, the team, which blah, is blah, blah. why the team could be disaffiliated. Yeah, and you know, if that's the case, then sure. Like, I'm not saying that Atlas fans are innocent either. Like, obviously, no, this is bad all around uh, uh, across across the way. Uh, Usually, you know, they say like a they're probably gonna this. I, I I think they should disallow fans attending the rest of the season if the season is played out. Uh, I think the season should be placed on hold at least for a couple weeks. Yeah. To they figure stuff out, to they figure out exactly what they're going to do. I don't think fans should be allowed to go to the games at least the rest of the ter- the tournament. Uh, and and it, it's gonna piss me off, Tony, because they they'll do that and then oh, Liguilla starts. Ya vamos a dejar 50% de la afición. Yeah. Yeah. La gente que tenía 50% of the tickets, yeah. like, Cholo passes can come in. Like it, that, that's gonna fucking bother me, man. Because that's something the Mexican league would do. Yeah. And what do we learn? Nothing. Um and again, we're still we're 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 throwing stones in the glass house. Like we're we're safely in the United States. We're in, in a yeah, point of privilege, yeah. right? Like you can't like, blame uh, journalists that travel to Mexico. To call people out like this because, dude, one, they can get fired. See, wait, they can Two, get fucking shot. <laughs> they can, yes. They can be at the end of this. Like, ah, see, cabrón, like, you said you this. You say, oh, the Mexican, cool. the Mexican government is just a shady ass. That's like. It is. And, not and, bro. Yeah. Like, it's bad. No. And, and, and again, to be, to even say, like, oh, well, 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 the cops like this, like, the people who were there, like. What are, cops, what, the cops, what, what are they the cops were hitting fans, too. Like. There's yeah, interviews for sure, fans but like, that the cops were hitting. But them. like, if it's if I'm one dude and I'm severely underpowered, what am I gonna do? I have a fucking family, dude. Like, yeah, you're sure. signed up for that, but I don't know. That's just essentially suicide. Like, yeah, you're like, just. It's not a good look for any anybody around. Uh, they they dare put, they dare put, they dare put music at the end of that. <laughs> you're on the YouTube channel for for La Liga. They will they end it. Por eso no progresamos. That's why we're still here. That's why we're still. We're still así están las cosas. Por it's a reflection of, madre, of a lot of stuff, uh, unfortunately. So let's not let's not do that. <laughs> They're asking for peace in Ukraine, La Liga de Mekis, but they can't even have peace in their own goddamn oh, games. Like neta, yikes. like qué pedo, güey. Um, it's 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 terrible, man. Like we'll we'll see. This there should be a sanction tomorrow. So hopefully, so. Uh, this is a nice way to segue. This is a nice, yeah, no, clean my palate, please. Oh, yeah, no. So remember, you can use the code. No, not now. Oh, not directly after. Oh. Not directly after. Wow. We need to cleanse the palate. Um, Chivas won. I mean, it's 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 wild. Like we know people that this is directly affecting now. Yeah, like it, it's it's wild. Um, but again, yeah, si estamos en México. You're gonna have to fill it up with water. water. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Stop looking at me like that. Salud. Shout out to Calafino. Whew. Also, <coughs> sorry, you don't have your limoncito. Yeah, dude. Um. Oh man, but let's I segue to the El yeah. Viejo Continente. Con. Continente. Continente. So there was Champions, Champions League. There League. is oh, Champions man. League action coming up this week, right? I'm yeah, pretty sure. It's yeah, this no, week. this week, hundred yeah. percent. Tomorrow, uh, today, tomorrow, today. California already got to you. Uh, all right. So we have a couple games coming up. We do have 
Uh, Bayern Munich versus Salzburg, the last one. It was a tie, aggregate one. A one. shocking score. Shocking score. Not it's, to you. You said you said you wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if this happened, even though it was uh, Salzburg, uh, not the, uh, the Bundesliga one. Not Leipzig. Not uh, Leipzig. Um, here, again, Bayern having the odds very in favor of themselves. There is no more away rule, but I think it is going to be hard to beat Bayern Munich over in... Um, uh, Allianz Arena uh, at home. So I think Bayern's yeah. going to go ahead and take this one. Uh, yeah, you're hitting it straight on. I think Bayern is able to take a 2 nothing, 3-1 lead in this one easily. Uh, but you never know, man. This has been a weird season in all sports. Uh, very, very surprising stuff in the Champions League. So you never know. But I do. I could say confidently that Bayern advances to the quarterfinals. 100%. Then you got Liverpool versus Inter. Inter, Liverpool. On paper, it looks like a fun match. Last time it was 2 0 for Liverpool. Obviously, a very strong team. On paper and off paper, Liverpool's looking like one of the best teams in Europe right now. Yeah, they're they playing can get the quadruple. They can, they're still in the run for the quadruple. They're, they're a couple points behind Man City. They needed my Man U to pull some miracles, and none of that <laughs> happened. None. But. Liverpool is very exciting to watch. They're a fun team to watch. I hate to say it because I hate Liverpool, but I love good soccer, right? And if they're playing good, then so be it. So I think Liverpool dominates this game. I think they win another 1-0, 2-0 win, and they advance to the quarterfinals as well, Tommy. It could be a 2-1 game here, and, you know, Liverpool still goes through comfortably. Like, I I don't think they're going to put all their eggs in this basket, Liverpool. uh, They have a... Good chance of, of, of winning the Premier League if things line up again. They still have a couple games, uh, important games, as does Man what City. What percentage would you give them to win Champions League? I, I'd give them a good 15, 20 percent. I give, uh, I think a little bit higher than that. I think a good 40. Yeah, I remember there's still 16 teams in here. There is 16 teams, but a lot of those teams would I really say that they're going to lose against them? Uh, I think wow. they're going to a 40 percent. Okay. 20 um, percent. Uh, you don't know how this works, man. Yes, I 20, do. 20 percent is a lot. Of, of 16. Uh, but speaking of Manchester City, Manchester City versus Sporting, I think this one's the one that had like, oh, yawn fest. This is later and on on Wednesday. Uh, 5-0. They're going to play again. I, I, they're, 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 <laughs> well, that's, what else is there to say about just, them? Just, that, just, that, yeah, what put else? In, put in the goalkeeper. And you'll still that. probably... <laughs> Everybody will be offsides. You can play with um, no goalkeeper and you're yeah, probably Man still going to win that one. PSG, uh, Real Madrid is the one. Kylian Mbappe may be out for this one. Oh, uh, so that, that's not. great news if you're Real Madrid, but also kind of worrying because you don't want a very bad injury on your new future player. So yeah, yeah like, like, what do you risk it? Do I you still not? think Madrid can pull this off, Tony. I know they didn't look too good against PSG, but I never like to rule out Real Madrid in Champions League, and I am a strong believer that money does not win you Champions Leagues. I don't think PSG get, the, get there with Messi. I think Madrid surprise and advance. They're, they're the home team. Bernabeu is a tough uh, environment to play at. I think Real Madrid advanced to the quarterfinals here. Yeah, uh, I think it's going to be a tough game uh, for Real Madrid. Again, it's always tough to say, but like Real Madrid is not the same, but sometimes they just are. They're still, and, and, they're and they're still, still Real there. Madrid in Champions they're League. They're still Madrid. Real Madrid. Uh, PSG uh, does have... You know, Messi hasn't done anything. Uh, they uh, still he has have. A, he has a good amount of assists. He hasn't been scoring too many goals, but he has a good amount of assists now. So people are hyping that up way too much. I I, so, I want PSG uh, to move forward just because i uh, Messi getting a, a Champions League would be pretty pretty cool to witness. Because at the end of the day, like both Messi and Ronaldo are ass compared to what they well once were. Obviously, you know, uh, they came down to earth a little bit. I mean, but this at, year at they this came age? back to earth. That's crazy. No, but but at I mean, it's just age, it's just like. Yeah, it hasn't been gradual is the thing, though. It's just like, um, compared compared to Messi, yeah, okay, Barcelona, yes, 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 compared yes, to Ronaldo, yeah. I'll give you that. Madrid, but, like, I'm not comparing but, but Juventus. You can't expect them to be as dominant anymore. I mean, it's just shocking that it just it just turned it off though? so much. Is it shocking? It is because Messi was still, you know, doing well. Ronaldo's he just won the 37. He just, he just won the Ballon de Oro. Like uh, he shouldn't I mean, have. He, I mean, he, he, if he's one or that's two, because UEFA is if he's like one or two, his ass. if he's one or two in the world, that's still impressive for his age. But right now, I don't think he's even in top ten in the world. Messi, like, ah, I don't so think he's top 10. you know, that's what I'm saying. Like Ronaldo, pff, ni se diga, like, not even showing up for his games anymore. Uh, oh. Oh, ow. Ow, ow. Uh, uh, but yeah, who do you, you got PSG advancing? I want then? PSG to win uh, this one. I have PSG advancing in a 2-1 to one game. Okay. Okay. And then, I mean, that's 
Champions League for this week. Yeah. We'll come back next episode and talk about the games for uh, this week and then do a preview of the games next week. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, Manchester City Man. and Manchester United did have a, themselves a game uh, over this weekend moving into champ into pre- Premier League just for a little bit to close it out. Um, you enjoyed this game. No, uh, I did not. You did not enjoy this game, I guess. Uh, so... What a not Champions League! What a uh, team here oh, for Manchester man. City. They didn't even play uh, Sterling. Uh, did you? I asked uh, you, like, do you think you have a chance? You asked me if you had a chance to win, and I said no. Wait, what? If you guys had a chance to win this game, you, I told like, you no. Yeah, and I told. Like, no. And I what? What score did I tell you? I think we lose what, like three one. Yeah, four one something. Yeah, I mean, it could have. Oh, it could have happened. Could have very well happened. Um, but you know. It's 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 just two different teams, man. Like at this point, like the way that Manchester City is playing is just outstanding. The players that they have, it's just so much more quality. You know what the sucky part is? You guys have spent 0.2 billion less uh, than Manchester City million. That's it. That's all. That's all. It's getting to a point for Manchester United where now Rashford wants out, and PSG are very interested in Rashford. When you're when you're playing like this and you can't get it right in the front office and you can't get the right manager or you can't get the right chemistry going, players are gonna want to leave. They want to compete. These are quality players that they have, and they want to compete for titles. And they're not gonna do that at Manchester United. I think even darker times are ahead for Manchester United than they already were. I I don't think it's gonna be very hard to come back. Who from wants this. to go to Manchester United? Nobody. Nobody. Like Ronaldo. Unless you're paying him a ridiculous. Amount amount of money that they are playing paying these players like it, it's it's bad for Manchester United it's terrible I'm, I'm very very worried um, the, the the playing is just not there yeah Sancho scored a nice goal and and I kind of it kind of gave me a little hope I'm like oh shit yeah. Wow, Sancho has been playing pretty good. Like he, if anybody's dude. on Manchester United has been playing good, it's him. I can't tell you Bruno Fernandez has been playing good. Pogba got dominated by Phil you, you Foden. Know, like. You know what you got to do now? It's it's going to be a complete transformation thing. You have to buy some very promising young players. Uh, you have to invest in some maybe veterans like Cavani would have been good, but. Yeah, like, I, mean, I mean, it it's it's not looking good like I said Manchester City is just in a different realm. I can I can't um, even speak on it, Tony. It's it's just very very Pobrecito very de Gea. Pobrecito de Gea. Uh, like he deserves so much better, dude. He like, does. I he's mean, the top what five is goalkeeper. Maguire doing there? Like Maguire should just retire at this point like, like Que pedo con ese vato? ¿Por qué la dejas ir, vato? ¿Por qué la dejas ir? ¿Qué es what, what are you doing? You're captaining Manchester United, and you're doing this shit? At this point, I feel sorry for him. Like, I don't know how he fooled everyone. He had having a really good gold, World Cup. Whoop. <laughs> he did a dummy. Like, what is this? He did a dummy. Lindelof going into the head, too. Like, you got to put the body on the line. I'm sorry. Like, it's, it's bad. It's, uh, I don't think Man U finished top four. If they don't finish top four, their transfer uh, budget for the summer is $50 million. If they make it, it's um, somehow $80 million. So, I yeah, don't know, man. It is not good. Manchester Arsenal United have right three games. Five. We have three more games than Arsenal, and they're one point ahead. That's not good. It's not good at that all. That is not good at all. Chelsea Ten has games 20s. left in the season for us. Like... <sighs> Told you we weren't finishing top four. I don't know. I told you. It, it was looking uh, like we were, but Tottenham beating Everton 5 0. Fuck. Yikes. Everton, you guys suck. Um, don't worry, we do too. Burnley beating Ch- uh beating uh, losing to Chelsea four to zero. Good performance by Ka- the LeBron James of soccer in that one. Uh you had Pulisic scoring, Reese James coming back with the banger, Kai Havertz scoring a Self a brace. Um, Policy. Yeah, well, the LeBron James of soccer LeBron scored. LeBron James of that soccer. That goal was so trash. So, I mean, it, like, it, counted, like just as much. Way. it counts just as much. Um, but in any case, uh, anything else for Premier League, boys? Anything it's, else for anything? It's, it's uh, My friends were joking with me saying that, like, 
send me the message that all these players want to leave. Uh-huh. And I jokingly just said, uh, there's rumors that Chiba might be moving on too. And on that happy note. I'm not. But it's going to be hard. Absolutely. So uh, I hope you don't. And stick with your team, boy. Cause I do. I'm, I'm very loyal to my sports teams. Loyal to the soil. Uh, we want to go ahead and, again, uh, shout out Calafino for thank you for sponsoring our podcast. Use the code. The promo's live, guys. Promo code Calafino. Uh, for, for Calafino, two balls, 20. Get 20% off. There will be a promo code coming down the pipeline for San Diego Loyal Tickets. Check those out. want to thank PB European and Imports. And thank you guys for listening. You guys are the best. Thank you, guys. Catch Bye. you guys later.